by the partners and friends of Creflo Dollar Ministries. Coming up next on Changing Your World. Sister, and prepare for Grace Life 2024. Mark your calendar for July the 11th through the 13th. Now on the screen are the ways you can register early. Plus, when you register today, you will receive 10% off of your entire purchase at the Dome Digital Bookstore during the conference. I can't wait to see you here, man. It's gonna be amazing. Now, let, let's, let me calm down. Let's get to today's broadcast. Let's get into Word today, and I'll see you right after this message. The 2024 Grace Life Conference is already in the works. Our mentality, ministers and leaders, and youth conference will all take place during Grace Life. Register now through October 20th to receive a one-time 10% discount on your entire order in the Dome Digital Store during Grace Life 2024. Just scan the QR code, text Grace Life to 51555, or visit creflodollarministries.org. We'll see you in July. This is your world, so let's vow to make it a better place. Let every heart that needs to know, your love is here to stay. Ooh, it's time we live a new life. Ooh, let the sun shine bright in you. We're saved by His grace, so we embrace your love today. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 14 in the NLT. Wow. Ephesians 1, verses 3 through 14. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has, past tense, blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. So I've been called to every spiritual blessing. It's in the heavenly realm. Because we are united with Christ. We are uni because I've been united with Christ. Everything about this inheritance, everything about this adoption comes because I'm united with Christ. Even before he made the world, God loved us. <laughs> he decided to love you. And if you came out crazy, he still decided to love you. God loved us and he chose us. He chose us in Christ. He chose us to be holy. He chose you to be holy. Now you're trying to be, you're trying to become holy and the way you see that change in your life is if you accept that I, I have been born with this undeserved privilege, I am holy, even though you ain't doing nothing holy, I am holy is going to start changing what you're doing. Your stance is going to start changing your state. God loved us, and he chose us in Christ to be holy, and watch this, and he chose us to be without fault, watch this, in his eyes. You still pulling up all of your faults in your day-to-day -day walk, and God chose you to be without fault in his eyes, so we got to start seeing ourselves like God sees us. Yeah, but Brother Dollar, you don't know what I did. I I'm telling you, you're in life right now. That is your state, but you have a stance that's going to change your state. Glory to God. It's a journey. You're going from College Park to California. It's a journey. There are a lot of things that happen from College Park to California. You might run out of gas. The engine might overheat. You might need to pull over to get some, some, some work done. You might need to pull over and get some rest. You might get lost. Hallelujah. But be assured, you're going to arrive in California. And listen, so listen, you don't need to judge me because I had to pull over. Don't send me to hell because my, my car overheated. Don't condemn me to hell because I, had, I, had, I got lost. 
And that's what Christian people do. We try, why, why, are we trying to, why are we trying to send people to hell all the time? Oh, I know they're going to hell. Mm-mm, you you sure enough going to hell for that. You, 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 you sure enough. Honey, I'm on a journey, you understand? I am, on a, I, am a, I am on a journey to walking worthy to this thing that God has called me to from the foundations of the world. Please reserve your judgment for yourself. I remind you, I'm on my way to California. Hallelujah. I haven't arrived there yet, but I will show up. Stop it. Well, I don't read well what he said. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I just believe you're supposed to preach what you believe. And sometimes people get way ahead of you, and just because you don't understand it. See, you just left college ball. That stuff you don't understand. You don't know that the bridge went out. And I had to get Siri to redirect me and do what I need to do. And the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, knows how to take you around a wreck, knows how to take you around a situation. Kitsakatalabasa. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Part of my calling before the foundation of the world is to be holy and without fault. And that's a journey. I'm on my way. In my state, in my life, I'm on my way to holiness and with no fault. So have a good time right now, because when I fall, I shall arise. Verse 5, so God decided in advance (laughs) to adopt us into his own family. (laughs) Oh, Creflo Christ dollar. (laughs) It wasn't what I did. It wasn't what you did. He decided that every believer was going to be adopted as sons and daughters. He made a decision to do that before the foundations of the world. So why are we sweating like sinners to to receive what has already been done for us? I'm a part of the family. And you have to remind the devil of that. When he comes to with different strategies and attack to try to bring you down, you have to remind him. Okay, so you do know you messing with a royal. Just because I don't have the royal attire on, you better ask somebody. Like I tell people sometimes, I'm from Kali Paul. You need to tell folks, I'm from heaven. I'm a citizen. I'm a citizen of, of heaven. You don't know who you're messing with. I'm a royal. Who says so? God decided in advance. He adopted us in his own family by bringing us to himself. How did he do it? Through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do. (laughs) He wanted to do it. He, He wanted to do it. I don't care how crazy it's been for you. I don't care how bad it's been for you. I don't care all of the stuff you've ever gone through. Remind yourself, God wanted you. Why did you want, why do you want me, God? Why did you want me? He said it it gave him great pleasure to want you before you were even born. So we praise God. I I said we praise God. 
not for the car necessarily, not for your house necessarily, not for your promotion necessarily. See, all that stuff supposed to be normal for, for royals, you understand? You're you wasting your time, wasting your faith on stuff that just is supposed to be yours anyway. You know, what you believe in God for a car, that's supposed to be normal. Is that, is that how you can go? Now, we praise God for His glorious grace that He has poured out on us who belong to His dear Son. I praise Him for His grace. I praise Him for His unrestricted operation of His love. I'm going to try to make it through this thing. I'm, I'm trying to get through this. Kishaka. Oh, my <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I praise him for his grace. When I was on my way to hell, didn't have no God on my side, couldn't figure out how to get rid of crazy, I praise him for his grace that reached down and saved me when I didn't deserve it, healed me when I didn't deserve it, made a way out of no way when I didn't deserve it. Glory to God, I praise him for his grace. Oh, my goodness. I praise him for his grace. All that stuff he did before the foundations of the world, that was by his grace. That was by his grace. The wealth of his mercy. Whew. He is so, <laughs> he is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his sons and forgave our sins. See, you're going around trying to get God to do what he's already done. He has showered his kindness on us along with all wisdom and understanding. So before the foundation of the world, he decided that I'm going to give you wisdom and understanding. So somewhere on the inside of you, there's an ability to know what to do when you don't know what to do. All you got to do is Paul and chill. It's going to be all right. Just tell yourself it's going to be all right. God's working that thing all right. And then you start praying a little bit. And the ability to know what to do when you don't know what to do has already been given to you royals. Verse 9, God has now revealed to us his mysterious, his mysterious will, his mystery. God has revealed to us his mystery regarding Christ, which is to fulfill his own good plan. We as folks that are here and joining me to minister to you, we are, we are honored to be God's tool to minister to you the mystery of God the mysteries of God. <sighs> Which is why you got to stop coming to church to learn something you already know. Amen. Like you scared when you hear something you, don't, you ain't never heard before. You ain't supposed to know something. So why you keep coming to church just to hear what you already heard? <laughs> You're going to hear some stuff. That's a part of the mystery. You're going to hear some stuff. So, some of you ain't ready for it. If I were to tell you that God started this whole thing out with rhema word, wasn't no Bible. Wasn't no Bible. There wasn't any Bible. It wasn't written down. Wasn't no letters put together. They all move because they heard God's word. And they all got results because they heard God's word. And then God said, I got to start a process. 
let me put a book together and give them the word that they heard without a book. Let me record the rhema word into a logos form. And so we got in the Word, but then we cut off our ear and decided, I'm not, I can't hear nothing because I got the written Word. Now, the written Word is a step back into Logos. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. Breakthrough doesn't come because you know this Scripture. Breakthrough came because you got a hold to the rhema Word behind that Scripture. And it's not just by that scripture, it's by that rhema. And when you heard that rhema, it's God saying to you, I want you to do this, and I want you to show up here, and I want you to stop doing that and start doing this. And when God speaks a word to you, breakthrough cannot be held back. But you, you started calling everybody demon-possessed when they told you there's a word behind this word. I don't know, my Bible tells me. You don't even know that Bible. You're still dripping from baptism or water baptism, and you try to tell somebody who's trying to get, yeah, and, you, and you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I want to hear from the law. Yeah. Tell me what you want me to do. While I'm walking to the bathroom, say something to me. I'm believing that while we're preaching to you, you're going to hear God talk to you while we're talking to you. And some of those notes you write down, I didn't say it. It must have been a rhema that just showed up and, and, and getting ready to cause a breakthrough to come in your life. And this is the plan. At the right time, he will bring everything together under the authority of Christ. Everything in heaven and everything in, on, on the earth is coming together under the authority of Christ. You'll no longer be a part of the fabulized gospel where they make up rumors and fables to make you go into a ooh-ah spasm shout. Ha hallelujah. But everything is going to be under the authority of Jesus Christ when you're not going to be able to go nowhere without hearing his name. Furthermore, <laughs> because we are united with Christ, we've received an inheritance from God before the foundations of the world. You're trying to get God to do something. He's like, I have given you an inheritance. And you still got him on that little chief stuff. Give me a car, pay my bills, and help me to get along with my family. Are you serious? We've received an inheritance from God, for he chose us in advance. And he makes everything, the double shaka, he makes everything work out <clears throat> according to his plan, not yours. So you're trying to get God to work out your plan. And Satan wants to support your plan. So through the use of mammon, which is his spirit behind money, he can seduce you into showing up at places that God's plan hadn't designed for you to show up in, but the mammon wants to get you to a place that's not called there. And so all you got to do is figure out how to get somebody to offer you a million dollars to go work here, and you don't, you don't like, forget about what God say, I got to go here. But now watch out now, because now you're dealing with a God who knows how to work out his plan. And you'll go there 
for that million dollars that God didn't say nothing to you about, and then make up excuses, well, I can support the gospel uh, better. You weren't supporting it where you are. And if you can't, if you can't do what you do where you are, you sure ain't going to do it if you get a promotion somewhere else. Quit lying to yourself. Quit lying. There's too much lying going on in the church. Quit lying. Dude, I need to calm down, seriously. <laughs> he knows how to work out his plan. I cannot explain to you all the things or why certain things happen. I, can't un I, don't, know, I don't know why God allowed those three tumors to come in my body. I don't know why I got shingles. I don't know why I had two and a half years of, of tackling my body. I don't know why, but I know that I can trust God, that no matter what happens, he knows how to work out his plan. God's purpose was that, and he's talking that, you know, Paul was a Jew referring to himself. God's purpose was that we Jews who were the first to trust in Christ would bring praise and glory to God. And now you Gentiles have also heard the truth. You Gentiles, you non-Jewish people, you have also heard the truth, the good news that God saves you. And when you believed in Christ, he identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit whom he promised long ago. So the Holy Ghost showed up as a seal to guarantee you what he promised. Grace Life Conference 2023 Homecoming featured three power-packed days focused on celebrating the life of grace. Creflo and Taffy Dollar were joined by special guests, topping off a weekend filled with revelation. Grace Life and the message behind that was something I really needed to hear. The Word has been rich, it's been deep, it's been gold. There's nothing comparable to it. If you need to know purpose while you're purpose, while you're a Christian, Grace Life encourages us to live even more so for Christ every day. It was good to be able to get different perspectives on grace that we ordinarily wouldn't get if we didn't get in this setting here together. Experience all nine sessions for a love gift of 50 US dollars or more for CDs or 60 US dollars or more for DVDs. Celebrate grace. Call the number on your screen, scan the QR code, or visit www.creflodollarministries.org and click eStore while supplies last. The 2024 Grace Life Conference is already in the works. Our mentality, ministers and leaders, and youth conference will all take place during Grace Life. Register now through October 20th to receive a one-time 10% discount on your entire order in the Dome Digital Store during Grace Life 2024. Just scan the QR code, text Grace Life to 51555, or visit creflodollarministries.org. We'll see you in July. Creflo Dollar Global Mission. Look no further for encouragement to walk in the grace of God. The Creflo Dollar Ministries TV app provides rewarding content that is sure to nourish your mind and soul. Treat yourself to enriching messages from Pastor Dollar on grace and walking in the likeness of Christ. Download the Creflo Dollar Ministries TV app to stream messages of hope, grace, and understanding when you need them most. 
Thank you, partners and friends. Your love and financial support makes it possible to bring this message into millions of homes all across the globe. The preceding program was brought to you in part by the partners and friends of Creflo Dollar Ministries.